hi everyone and welcome back to my channel um it's been a while so i'll do a little round of introductions um so my name is charlotte and i am from budget studio co and i am part of a family of five living in the northeast of england we have myself and my husband and then we have our little boy who is two and our twins who are almost one they will be 11 months on the 6th of January so coming up to one and um, my husband works full-time and I because I fell pregnant when the little boy was only seven months I didn't obviously return to work um, and decided myself my husband decided that it was financially better for us for me to stop working because yeah childcare is crazy expensive and for three of them it was going to be more than my wages um so yeah it just didn't seem worth it it was a, a hard decision to make but i think we made the right decision so i did budget in 2022 yeah that's right and then when i fell pregnant with the twins i stopped just because it was quite a stressful pregnancy we had lots of issues and yeah just it was a bit all over the place and i just needed to kind of i don't know i'm, I'm emotional spent let's just be honest i emotional spent i put more on debt and yeah but that's just where we are um so i got back into budgeting when the twins were born because i knew we kind of had to get on top of it in, in some way um and here we are so i started like oh, february maybe late february just gonna have a sip of my coffee sorry if you hear any slurping um i started like late february 2023 um i didn't post it online or anything like that i was just doing it kind of for us and then i started watching videos again and here we are um my etsy shop is back up and running and it has done amazing this year like honestly can't even believe well it'll be next year when you're watching this last year sorry i can't believe what we've achieved and i am so so grateful um i've got big plans for 2024 business wise and yeah i'm just so grateful for everyone who has supported in 2023 so that is kind of me what i do why we've chose to do certain things and in this video i'm going to show you the binder set up for 2024 now there is a lot of binders um it's just how i like to do it and how i feel it'll work um but we're going to talk through it obviously things will probably change um but yeah let's just get started so we have got sorry about the shadow we've got the Filofax um, Safiano, that shadow is really annoying as the my camera. Um, I'm going to have to sort that out for the next one. And this is the weekly binder. Now I won't be filling every envelope every week with my stuff. It'll just be as and when I feel I need to. So we've got food shop, we've still got money left in. I have already cash stuffed for week one of January just because we got paid on the 28th of December so I needed to just get started straight away otherwise we would have gone to pot so we've got our food, food shop fuel kids days out planned spending um and that is it days out isn't even going to get stuff monthly i might not put anything into this i have got another envelope in on my binders um but yeah i've changed to the pink because this is more me and um, i did have this one and I did love it, um, there's nothing wrong with it, really. I should probably try and sell it, but it is a bit like, it has been well loved, so it does have marks on here, but the actual inside, there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, that is that. I might use that for like travel, I don't know. But that is our weekly. Let me try and sort out this shadow, because it is gonna irritate me. It's gonna have to bear with that shadow for now, but. Right so where do we begin let's just go into this one so this is like um i don't know things for us as a family 
Um, so we've got personal care. A lot of these have stayed the same. Health. And I do have tractors in some, but not all of them. Clothes. And this is for everyone. So like, um, I don't know, I stopped getting free prescriptions in February. So my prescription that I'm currently on, I'll need to pay for. Um, paracetamol or like Calpol for the kids, anything like that. Clothes, again, for all five of us. Hair, at the moment, there was only myself and my husband getting our hair cuts. Um, my mum just does George's. Um, it's literally, she gets shaved off. <laughs> and the girls just don't need the hair cutting yet. It is long, but they're good for now. Then we've got days out. And I do have some money in some of these. But I'm not going to go through it because it's not a lot. We have got date night. Social. My husband's treats. My treats. Then we've got George, Maisie and Izzy. So that is for like any money that we give them or they are gifted. So that is like the binder for us. Um, I'm going to leave that one for now and we'll go into this one. This is birthdays and events. Now I do, I think I'm going to get some fancy envelopes for these but I haven't quite decided. Um, so for now we've just got Maisie, Izzy, myself, my husband and George. Then we've just got a birthdays one. So this is for any other family members, um, friends, anything like that. And then we have a gift. So gift is more for... Um, I don't know, you know if like Alex is chipping in for somebody at work or um, let me think like somebody's getting married or someone's just got engaged, things like that. That's what that one's for. And then I've got some blank ones at the back, which are going to be for like events, but I just need to work out how I'm going to do that. I haven't quite decided that one yet. So that is like birthdays and events. This one has literally only got three um, wallets in. And this is for, like, the future or, like, yeah, let's just call it that that kind of thing, like, long-term things. So we've got a buffer, which is what I want to build for a bank buffer. We've got our emergency fund, which is pretty standard. And we have a future envelope. I do want to add future envelopes for the kids, but um, I don't know whether I just put that in the other one and then once it hits a certain amount, move it over to the bank. I'm going to move that because it's just going to fall. Right, and then we've got the household binder. I told you we've got a lot. <laughs> Don't judge, this is just how I like to do it. So we've got household, which is for things like cleaning products. Um, What else? That's it really. Um, I just need it separate from the food shop money. Sorry, just have another sip of my coffee um yeah i just wanted it like different from the food shop money um so yeah that is that one we've got home renovations um i'm trying to think what we want to do this year um there's like a lot of like we need to touch up a lot of the paintwork in the house i would really like to make some changes to the kitchen nothing huge just like well i like a new sink and i don't know we'll see um this will be if we can do it. I'll talk about our goals once I've gone through the binders. And um, we've got garden, which um, we would like to make part of the garden, like solely for the kids, and um, put like bark down or something. But yeah, again, we'll see how much that's going to cost. But we've got that one. We've got home maintenance, which is things like boiler services. Um, what else? Like if we ever needed like a plumber or electrician. So that's what that one's for. And then we've got car maintenance, which is pretty standard. Um, I did have all of our yearly bills um, in the back here. So like home insurance, car insurance, car tax. But I've taken them out because that is not our priority in 2024. Right, next, what have we got? Um, I think next one are like savings challenges. So we'll start with a binder. Um, right now I've got everything that I want to do in 2024 in here. Um, if we can, if we're lucky enough to, but I probably need to take some of these out. So we have got our um, penny challenge, which is from Scottish Highlander on a budget. Um, I've just recently gone through all of our change, and this is what we've got. 
Um, so yeah, we're not too far away from finishing that. We have got our Dingley Designs. I have, I get the subscription to Dingley Designs. So that is the one I've got in at the moment. Um, we've got Treasure Tower. I'll try and leave everyone linked down below if I can remember. Um, yeah, some of these might actually go in oh, another bind that I'm about to show you. We've got here for the Cash Huns from Dingley Designs. We've got Luna Lolly Save 200. We've got Cash Book Cutes Door Bakery. We've got the Queen Bee Makes Book Fund. Now this is um, for me. And every time I finish a book, I clone in and I save two pound. Um, so I've read three since November. Um, it just keeps me more accountable to my reading. I love reading. It's something that really relaxes me. And yeah, I'm enjoying doing this. We have got Roll and Save from Bridget Rashan. We've got Out of This World from Dingley Designs. We've got My Money Matters Scratch the Record. We have got that Budget Look Save 500. Budget with Abby's Crack the Code and Budget with Abby's Little Book of Everything. We've got Plan Budget Repeat Winter Eye Spy. Of course, Knockout Nine by Luna Lolly. We have got 30th birthday. It's my 30th in 2025. So next year when you're watching this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to slowly start saving up for that. We have got the Aesthetic Currencies Save 250 Budget Bingo. We've got Block Drop by Save with Sophie. Sweet Sweet Savings by Budget with Abby. And then we have got Dingley, De Dingley Designs Spin Saver. So that is a lot of saving challenges. And I do need to take some out of here because that is just ridiculous. Um, but that is kind of what I would love to do. I do not need any more. And I've also got here two little scratch off challenges from Scouse Girl Budgets that I'd like to do. Um, we've then got an Iris 1K binder. Um, and it's got its first 20 in. And this is to save for myself and my husband to go to Iceland. Um, so we'll just put money into this as and when we can. Um, but yeah, we've got that. And then for Christmas, we have got my new 52 week Christmas box, which will be coming to my Etsy this week. Um, I don't have many available. Um, so if it is something you're interested in, then get in quick. <laughs> Basically, you have envelopes one, 52 and yeah you just pop your money in um, so that's number five. Where have I got that? and then I've just done a tiny little tracker just to kind of so I can see where we're at but that is our Christmas box and then the big important goal for 2024 is our debt Separately, which I probably won't show, is our deck binder, which just, yeah, that is just more to keep me going. But we have this binder here, which is our challenges binder for debt. So this is our challenges that will feed into the debt to get it paid off. I am so determined to get as much as we can paid off this year. Um, I'm just done with it. I want it gone. We're paying like, we are paying more just to try and get it down quicker. Um, but we're paying like, I think it's like £750 a month towards paying off the debt. So that is just, yeah, it needs to go. So that is the aim this year. So at the moment, at the minute I'm working on two, so we've got Tortoise and the Hair by Grand of Budget. And we've got the 16 jars by that Budget Looks. So that is what we're working on at the minute. As soon as they're complete, we'll move on to others. I do need to wipe some of these clean, so just ignore that. Um, then we're going to move on to the Rubik's Challenge from Scotch Hound and Budget. Um, and budget with these six month saving challenge which saves 300 we've got plan budget repeats when life gives you lemons budget with share saves color we've got you've got a roll for it from dingley designs that is a big one 
those boots are made from walking budget girls rainbow riches and the royal flush so this is our biggest priority um, and this takes me on nicely to our goals so we really want to get as much as we can paid off from our debt um, one of our loans finishes next year which is £300 a month so that will be a huge help when that's done um, but if we can chip away at the other stuff this year then yeah we'll just enter 2025 in such a better headspace and financially feel so much better off um, so that is the goal my camera battery died so I hope nothing has changed too much but yeah, main goals for 2024 are to keep chipping away at the debt. Well, chip away at the debt because we haven't yet. Fully fund our Christmas 2024. Um, stay accountable and consistent. Um, they're two things that I really, really need to focus on, both in my business and in my business, financial and personal goals. Yeah, so that is a word that I'm, I might use quite a lot through to, throughout 2024 but yeah um so there's them and just be more mindful about what we do spend on um we're going for a no takeaway eating out january we're not drinking any alcohol not that we drink a lot anyway but we're cutting it out completely and yeah we're just having a year to focus on us and bring ourselves in a better position when it comes to the end of 2024 both personally in ourselves our health our financial health and yeah um that's kind of our goals i don't have any other than christmas and debt i don't have any like oh i want to have x amount in this or x amount in that because i just don't know where the year is going to take us um i'll probably have monthly goals that i want to do and we might run through them kind of in my first video of the month but we'll see plans for videos going forward there will be one video a week which will be like our unstuffing and restuffing um and that will have all the money from that that week so the money for food any money that i've made from business side hustle anything like that that will all go into the one video and then if we do have any extras i don't know if we have any like in february and march we have a council tax break so that money we've decided is going to go straight to debt so i'll probably there'll probably be like bonus videos like that stuff in because that's like 200 pound and um, we'll get that money out and we'll put it into the debt savings challenge binder which will be lovely to do so yeah that is the plans for 2024 and um, you know i love to change things around so if the binds are still looking like this by six months time i will be shocked but anyway, that is where we're at and I'm really excited and um, I hope that you all had a lovely Christmas and yeah, happy new year to you all as well. It's the first. I hope you're all ready to start fresh and just smash all of the goals that you have um, in your mind. Or if we don't want to call them goals, we can call them things we want to achieve or things we want to do. I sometimes prefer a little bit like that because goals can be a bit daunting sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling <laughs> and we will get on to the last part of the video, which is a nice one and it is a giveaway. Um, so I'm going to be giving away a £30 gift card to spend on my Etsy shop. Um, this is for UK entries only, um, UK people only. Um, I'm not doing anything for abroad, unfortunately, right now. Um, so yeah, you do have to be from the UK, you need to be subscribed to my channel, like this video and leave a comment down below with the, the one thing that you most want to get out of 2024. Um, leave them all down below and yeah, I'm excited to read them and support you along the way. So yeah, that is the end of the video and oh, I will announce the winner of the giveaway let's leave it up for about two and a half weeks by the time we do it so it'll be what will the date be 
let me grab my phone. So I'm going to be doing cash stuffings on a Thursday throughout January. Um, so it'll be Thursday the 11th of January will be when the giveaway ends. Um, and on, I, well, sorry, Wednesday the 10th of January will be when the giveaway ends. And then I will announce the winner on Thursday the 11th video. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this and are excited to start 2024 as I am. Bye everyone.